Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, I want to um, look at the month of July for the United States of America. And uh, I did a similar, I guess a similar reading, um, and that was for the whole summer um, for the United States, because it will be a, a, another interesting summer for us. But I want to just look at the month of July right now, what's coming up for the United States. Um, it's significant because there is an eclipse on the 2nd, which is eclipsing the sun of the United States, as I said in the last reading. So let's, this is just July. Um, there's also a, a, um, a full moon lunar eclipse that's close to the Pluto of, uh, I think the eclipse degree for the moon is 25 or 24. And Pluto in our chart uh, for the United States is at 28, so it's within orb of the conjunction. Um, so both the Sun, excuse me, Jupiter um, is being affected, pardon me, uh, by the eclipse, and uh, and Pluto is being affected by the uh, by the by the solar the lunar eclipse that's occurring on the. At the 16th, the 16th, I believe, of July. So July is eclipse season, north node eclipse season. Mars is on the north node this time. Last eclipse season, uh, Mars was on the south node. It was very challenging. <laughs> um, I, last eclipse season last year, uh, last, not this year, the eclipse is in 2018. It was in a different axis. We're in the axis of Cancer, Capricorn, with the North Node in Cancer and the South Node in Capricorn. And so this eclipse season is the North Node eclipse season, and it's about moving into the unknown future. Um, the eclipse season we had in January uh, was about letting go of the past. And we've been letting go of a lot. Um, we've had to. You know, if you don't let it go, it gets torn out, uh, out of your hands anyway. So might as well let go. Save a little pain. Although I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that say that's saving a little pain. I can imagine if I'd held on. Okay, let's see the immediate environment. This is the U.S. in, Je in uh, July. And we have a uh, fighting fight. Um, yeah. This is, this is generally the good guy fighting uh, against the foes and having the higher moral ground. And uh, I feel as though this is the Congress trying to get a straight answer. Um, that's what this feels like to me. So they will continue to fight. Did they get, a, they get the summer off? Did they get August off? Hmm. I don't think anybody's going to get a vacation this year. Let's see what's crossing that. Okay, we have Justice. We have justice crossing it. Okay, this is not the Congress. I think this is the president. And he has the higher ground, not because he has the higher moral ground. He has the higher ground because he's in charge. And it's being challenged by justice. So justice is challenging now. Let's see what's at the root. We have illumination. This is the sun uh, and it's interesting because there's a solar eclipse. So this is about uh, renewal, regeneration, new beginnings. So there's a new beginning happening for us. Let's see what's in the past. Heartbreak. Pain and heartbreak. We've felt that, haven't we? Betrayal. Feeling betrayed. How many times have we felt that? Let's see what's in the sky. On the hermit card. This is about... Uh, looking within to find the answers. It's about healing. It's about shining your light. Um, the hermit spends a lot of time evaluating, discerning, healing. And then when he or she has come to a a point of self-knowledge or self-understanding, they shine their light. And so there are lights out there in the darkness. We just have to seek them out. Let's see the immediate future. So this will be 
pretty much uh, what's going to happen in, ju in July. Okay, we have the uh, Princess of Swords here. Young woman fighting, the youth fighting. We might see some um, some more youth. Um, in the streets, that kind of thing. How it's seen from the outside. Five of Swords, um, unfair tactics. This is um, not a nice card. Um, it's like it's like winning at any cost, not caring who you hurt. Domestic situation of the full card. So a new beginning. So another energy of new beginning here. There's actually a lot of n new beginnings here. Renewal. Let's keep going. Hopes and fears. Emotional ups and downs. The moon card. I guess more of the same. All that, you know, hurt and anger and outcome, transformation, the death card. And let's see what's underneath. Okay, healing, temperance. So it looks like July is going to be some kind of reckoning. There's some kind of reckoning coming. And um, I did, did I do Trump's July? I think I did. Um, there's some... Something is passing away. Something is transforming and changing. It's as if the darkness has done its job. The pain that we've experienced has done its job to wake us up to maybe the necessity for healing There's two definite energies to this reading. There's pain, suffering, not, you know, people not being fair. And then there's this whole other part of this reading that says, we have garnered the wisdom we need to garner from this experience. It is time for new beginnings to let go of the old and to be reborn. That's what these cards say to me. So these are pretty heavy, heavy cards. And then ultimately at the root of it is um, the temperance card, which is a healing card, but it's also a challenging card in that um, you really have to walk the straight and narrow with this. So I feel as though ultimately this is a very positive reading. I think that the shenanigans that have been going on uh, can no longer work. That's what I want to say. Can no longer work. Is the, our work over <laughs> as a country? Or um, No. We have work to do for sure. Um, but there is a new, there, there is a sense of rebirth here. And there's a part of me that uh, while I'm generally an optimistic, I think, person, or certainly looking for the good in difficult situations, um, there's a part of me that doesn't want to become too hopeful. Because it seems like every time we've gotten hopeful, we've gotten dashed. But these cards to me look hopeful, even though the death card is the last card. 
because we need a transformation. We need a change. We need to let go and to be reborn. And at the root of this, 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 this reading is the rebirth. And it's interesting because there are one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards in this reading. And, um, there's only 10, well, 11. Oh, there's, there's six major arcana. So this was the first one, justice major arcana in the sky. I'm sorry, the hermit major arcana at the root, the sun. This is a one, this is a nine. It's like the gamut here. Um, and then uh, our domestic situation, a whole new beginning sort of jumping off the precipice into a new way of being. The death card here, and then underneath. Oh, and then the moon card. Oh, I forgot about the moon. Okay, so so let's count. Let me count <laughs> correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of 11 cards, seven of them are major arcana. And so what does that mean? Generally, it means that this is a faded time. This is something that was sort of written, uh, we could say maybe written in the stars because we have the eclipse. This eclipse that happens on the second eclipses the sun of the United States and uh, it's a north node eclipse. So it really is about a new way of moving forward. And so these cards say that just that. Well, that's cool. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be optimistic. Everything's going to change in July. You like that? I like that. Have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe. Maybe it'll even stop raining in July <laughs> for a little while. Not, not the whole month, of course. Um, this is cleansing. We are cleansing. We are. The earth is going through a cleanse. And um, we need to follow suit. Cry your tears. Let go of the pain. And um, wait for the new beginning. It's, it's here. It's coming. We're in the midst of it. Like and subscribe. Thanks. See you soon.